What's up guys, Eric742 with Eric's RC channel. Um, I'm just going to go over in this video um, pretty much how to program and how to set up your, including binding, how to set up your blade glimpse. Um, one thing I need to note, um, if you want to install, I'm installing this uh, the uh, uh, phone mount onto my DX9 and you're going to need a 4mm hex um, screwdriver and this thing is extremely um, hard to turn in actually so you're definitely going to need a hex or maybe a wrench to grab onto the uh, threads on this to try to get it in. I'm going to go ahead and screw it in while the video is going um, but I'm telling you this thing is really hard to get in to use my shirt try to get some more grip I'm probably just going to leave this on the transmitter and mount my uh, or use my neck strap to hold on to it from there I wouldn't want to take this on and off that's for sure jeez I'm telling you guys this is a hard screw to get in I don't know if the uh, plastic wasn't threaded all the way. It's still loose. Let's see. Yeah, this plastic must have not been threaded. Because I'm a fairly big guy and uh, this is a real pain. Now it's starting to snug up. think that'll take care of it there so we got that on there I'll get to the uh, the quadcopter part I promise guys this is just um, how to get this on your transmitter just put this plastic thing down there run the nut up through the, uh, the neck strap and this will hold the phone this on there like so that's a lot better okay and I have about the biggest phone you'll try to fit into this thing so uh, it's the note 3 with this huge case on it and I think it still fits so and it does fit sure does make this controller funky though um, let's see this is a big old Galaxy Note 3. It's like having a TV in front of your face. So that'll be pretty cool. All right, so let's get to the point. I got the transmitter on there. I mean, a uh, transmitter mount on there so you can see how to do that. Um, next thing we're gonna do is the, uh, the binding. Get this down. Okay, you can see how it looks there. That's a big old screen. That's gonna be really cool. Um, Okay, let's get to the point. Um, for binding procedure, make sure all your switches on your transmitter are off. If any of them are on, it will not bind. It'll say uh, bind error. Make sure all your trims are zeroed out too. Um, okay. So before you bind it, go ahead and go into your transmitter under settings. Oops. Um, You can go to, uh, well, add new model, of course, but uh, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just trying to get to the settings. Sorry about that. Okay, system setup. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, model select. Of course, I already programmed in the name. Um, I just put glimpse micro. Model type. You're going to pick airplane. Just pick that and it'll say, do you want to reset the data? Say yes. Uh, model name, whatever you want. It's got a, quite a bit of letters you can use. Aircraft type, don't mess with that. Um, flight mode, actually you don't have to mess with anything on this quad after you bind it once you just get aircraft type set in there. Um, you don't have to do anything else. Um, the rest of the camera and stuff is controlled by the app um, that you'll download on your smartphone whether it's an iOS or an Android. Okay, and that's it. Um, there is one thing I'm gonna do. I'm going to set up a throttle hole. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm going to set up a throttle cut on this in a little while, uh, but not right now. We'll get straight to the point. 
I like to have a throttle cut on every model just so I can just cut power um, no matter what so it just falls and I didn't set the timer but five minutes is probably fine actually okay so on your smartphone oh wait let's skip that part let's go to the binding first let's go ahead and do the binding all right uh, I got one hand here but so turn your transmitter off it's just like binding anything else um, is blade but we'll go through it um, get your battery in the holder like so plug in your quad it'll blink rapidly and once you see it blinking like that um, you can go ahead and okay go ahead and bond button down binding DSMX like 22 so. milliseconds Bind complete. Okay. And you already saw how to program it. There's really nothing you need to do. Um, even the timer set up. Oops. Forgot it was on. Um, unplug your quad. <laughs> uh, I'll turn this transmitter off for a second here. Okay. Now that you got it bound, um, you really don't need to do any programming. Um, it's set correctly right out of the box. Um, just bind it in airplane mode and that's about it. And of course you can add a throttle cut or a timer, change your timer, whatever you like to do with that. Or dual rates if you feel like it. Um, it's already got safe mode so it's already pretty docile I believe. Um, next thing you're going to do, and I will turn this uh, the camera sideways. Go to your app store. Um, search for, just search for Glimpse glimpse and it will be dang it I, I disconnected from Wi-Fi so it's gonna be really slow but you want the one here that says a uh, unique unique international that's the one with two stars great right and I've already installed it so um but you'll just install that glimpse app and then you'll be able to uh, use the video for the quad so I'll show you that next let's get out of here this phone is so heavy it's so wobbly on the mount it's funny all right let's get out of that all right, so there's the Glimpse app that we just installed. The icon will look like that. And if you go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi, it's gonna say network error, and that's, you're gonna get frustrated, but that's not what you need to do. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do, uh, turn on Wi-Fi. And again, your phone has to be 5.8 gigahertz capable, so if you have a really old phone or something, uh, it may not work. So I turn on Wi-Fi. My phone is going to be different than yours probably, but I'm going to go to settings. Uh, Wi-Fi. And that is my home Wi-Fi that it's connected to, so I will show you. Oops. That's not it. Once we turn this, plug this quad in, we're going to plug it in, uh, with our transmitter on, turn your transmitter on. All right, plug in your quad. It will broadcast a 5.8 gigahertz uh, frequency. All right, so if we're bound, we should be solid blue. We're good to go. I believe that's the Wi-Fi light. Okay. Now it's not showing up here yet. Go ahead and hit scan. Scanning. Nope, 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 nope. A lot of, a lot of Wi-Fi on here. Where is it? A lot of funny names. Too. Did I pass it? Oh, how did it get there? Anyways, there it is. Glimpse. Uh, I don't know if yours will say the same thing, but it says glimpse in it. Then I already typed in the password, but when you click on it, I'll go ahead and connect. Um, connect. Okay, but when you first click on that, it's going to ask for a password. Uh, the password is simply just uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. That is it for the password. Okay, now we're connected to the glimpse. You can see connected, uh, it's 5.8. Let me back up here. 
just backing out. I'm going to go to the Glimpse app. Sorry, this thing's so heavy it's wobbling. And you can see it's already got it. So, and you know what's funny about this, um, this quad is I thought this FPV would be unusable because of a lag or something, but that's not true. This thing is a, I mean, it's got a, such a minor lag. You could fly FPV with this one. Crazy, huh? Um, it's really pretty cool little quad. I mean, I can look, uh, it doesn't have much of any lag. That's the interesting thing. It has a little tiny bit, but it's so so minor. You could fly this FPV, and I'm going to. Um, I have not tested uh, the camera function. If it, you know, I, I suppose record is right here, and this is probably take a picture. So go ahead and see if it takes a picture. I don't know. And it shows here how much is left on your SD card. So apparently it comes with close to an 8 gig, 7 gigs. Will it record? Oh, it is recording. Now that is really cool. That is awesome. Okay. Really cool, guys. Um, wow. It doesn't have much lag. I'm going to fly it FPV. That's going to be awesome. So, my next video will be me putting this uh, flying FPV uh, in the house, which will be really cool. Let's see if this will go ahead and stop the recording. It did. I don't know what the glimpse button does. Nothing. I assume that takes a picture, but it's maybe it's taking a real quick still and it's storing it in there. It is. It's blinking. Okay. This light's blinking every time I hit that, so it is taking a picture of some type. Um, and then I assume I'm going to go on the computer here and plug this in and download the, uh, the little video and the picture from it, which is really cool. Um, the 5.8 link is... Uh, really quick I mean literally like no lag minor minor very minor it's flyable I think it's flyable yeah I'm definitely doing it all right guys um subscribe to my channel if you haven't this little blade glimpse is gonna be so cool and um I'll just catch you guys around. Thanks for watching. Bye.